Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you Phone Rescue. This is a way to recover some files. I get a lot of questions on how to do that, so I wanted to show you this. So I've partnered with iMobi to show you Phone Rescue, and they've sponsored this video. So as you can see here, the first thing we need to do is turn this to airplane mode on our iPhone and then plug it in. Once we've plugged it in, it's going to make sure that iTunes is closed, so it closes it automatically, then we'll click I'm ready to start. And as you can see here, we have four different things. We have recover from iOS device, from an iTunes backup, from iCloud or iOS repair tool. We also have some settings or options down here, and it shows you the different output formats that you can recover and where you can recover to. So you've got all these simple menus that let you figure out what you want. So with WhatsApp, you can recover it to an HTML file or text, for example. So it's a good way to get those those messages from iMessage or from WhatsApp or whatever you want. So what we wanna do is we can recover the device. So once our phone is connected, as it says here, your iPhone 7 Plus is connected, we'll click next. I'm going to make this full screen. And depending on the storage size of your device and how much stuff is on there, this can take a while. So I have a 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus. So this can take a little bit to complete and have it fully scan the device. As you can see, the actual analyzation has finished and now we have access to everything that's on the phone. This will recover anything that it can find, including media that may not have been there before or that you might have deleted. So as you can see, there's all sorts of things from app videos and photos. These are different videos within apps themselves that I may have recorded, such as Enlight or Peekaboo. Also app audio, app photos, different photos from within different apps that I may not have taken, but they're actually within those apps themselves and app documents as well. So all of these are recoverable. We can again go to music, anything in here we can recover. And to recover one of these, we can just select one. So if we select this one, you'll see they're all selected right now. I have 24,381 items to recover. I don't want to recover everything, but this allows you to recover whatever you want. And then you can recover it to a phone or to a device. So let's go ahead and uncheck some of these. As you can see, I've unchecked everything. If I want to recover just this one thing from my phone, this is a song by Anne Berlin. Let's go ahead and click this button. It'll say recovering your device data. It should take a moment and now it's recovered it and you can click here to open the export folder. So if we go into the export folder, you'll see there's the file itself and the file size is changing for a little bit because it's actually uploading to iCloud, but it's 17.2 megabytes. And this is the song we can play this and that goes for anything on my device. So we can go back in here and it will have to reanalyze the device. So you wanna make sure you select something specifically before going back and doing that all over again as it can take some time. Now the next thing this does is recover from an iTunes backup. So if you have an iTunes backup on your device, so maybe you back up to a Mac, you can recover it that way. And you can see here are all the different devices that I've backed up to this Mac. So if I go into my iPhone 7 Plus, click next, we can compare it or do an only scan backup. And again, it works the exact same way. So it will look at that backup, whether it's large or small, it will analyze it and then allow you to back up whatever's inside of that. You can also recover from iCloud. So if your device doesn't work and it's been backed up with iCloud, you can pull the files from there as well. And then finally, we have the iOS repair tools. And under iOS repair tools, this is where your device doesn't work. It will pull it out of a boot loop and fix it. So it'll just kick it out of that boot loop, reactivate your device after repairing or restore it to jailed status after repairing. So it actually will repair it and keep your jailbreak. So that's it for Phone Rescue. It's a nice application that helps you restore different, app, different apps and different data from your iPhone. And as you can see, it has a trial and it's available for Windows and Mac. It has a 60 day money back guarantee. So if it's not working for you, you can just get your money back. It does come in at 50 up to $200 for licenses for businesses and things like that. But other than that, it's a pretty solid piece of software. And the other thing as well is if you have a phone such as one you've restored that was encrypted, you can't pull that data back. So as long as it hasn't been fully wiped and encrypted and reset or decrypted and reset, uh, it won't work. So that particular function isn't available pretty much to any software recovery. So that's it for phone rescue. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.